People, mostly students around the world, use pencils for writing. Despite the continuous rise of technological gadgets, pencil is still the most convenient tool for writing. As students, we often see other students throwing these pencil shavings directly into garbage bins. We know for a fact that pencils come from trees, which is an organic matter. So, we thought of ways on how to minimize the amount of pencil shaving directly thrown into landfills by maximizing its organic potential. We came up with a brilliant idea. Use the pencil shavings in gardening. The good thing about this is that pencil shaving is low cost and readily available in school settings. Coming up with this idea, we would like to further investigate the benefits of pencil shavings in school gardening. So, we went to Florenza, a plant nursery in Abu Hamoud, to speak with their agriculturist. As we spoke to their agriculturist, Mr. Nadeep, we found out that Qatar needs to import fertile soy from other countries. This is because the climate in Qatar is hot, that made the soil dry and infertile. Now that we have an idea on what to do, we will start the experiment to prove our hypothesis. To test the effectivity of pencil shavings as mulch and as a pesticide. Since then, we started collecting pencil shavings from different classes. We collect from the whole school and we weigh it every day. We gathered around 500 to 1000 grams of pencil shavings a day. We used our school garden for this experiment. In this experiment, we want to have two setups. Setup A and Setup B. Setup A will be the control setup, which won't have any mulch. Setup B will have pencil shavings as mulch. We initially recorded the soil moisture of both setups, and then we applied the mulch in the second setup. We measured the soil moisture for 10 days and gathered the following results. If you can see, there is a difference in between the two setups. The first setup has less soil moisture, which is not good for plants. The second setup retained optimal soil moisture level, which is good for plant growth. Therefore, pencil shaving is effective to use as a mulch. Another problem we usually have in gardening is the presence of pests, such as slugs. In our second experiment, we would like to test the effectivity of pencil shavings as a pesticide. We collected garden slugs around the school area and placed it in our setup. The experimental setup was done in a single box like shown here. Then, we added the mulch in setup B. A ribbon was placed between the two setups to distinguish setup A from setup B. This is where we place the slugs. The result of this experiment is very interesting. After an hour of leaving the slugs in the setup, all of them went to setup A. This is the setup without the pencil shavings. After a day, we went back to check our experiment and this is what we have observed. There are traces of slug slime in the setup, showing a more evident conclusion that slugs are staying in the setup without the pencil shaving. Because of this, we easily concluded that pencil shavings can be used as a pesticide. This is because pencils are made from cedar wood. Cedar wood is a natural pesticide that can drive the slugs away. Since we had successful experiment, it's now the time to share our results. We went around the class and initiated the project, Pencil Shaving Garden Saving. This project is to encourage the whole school to participate and be aware of the wonders this pencil shavings can make. We even used the hashtag pencil shaving garden saving in social media sites to promote it outside the school community. From then on, 
We applied our findings to maintain our school garden. We involved everyone in our school. From then, they no longer threw their pencil shavings directly to the garbage bins. Instead, they have a small container to collect it. Thank you so much for listening.